Welcome Jira users. This tutorial will show you how to set clear goals for the average cycle time for your issues directly on your Jira dashboard. Let's follow a couple of steps and build cycle time KPI report in Jira. Configure your data source. For our example, we have filtered all resolve stories in our demo project from the last six months. Select the time and status metric. Then pick a custom work calendar that matches your team's business hours to measure only the actual working time. Choose the statuses you're interested in, such as in progress, review, or others, depending on your workflow. Select average calculation by number of issues. Display by the resolved field and select the most appropriate granularity. In our case, we will display resolved issues by month index. Switch on the target feature and keep the fixed tab selected. Select results to be evaluated per x-axis item. Set the target level value. In our case, it is 30 hours. Then, specify that exceeding the target should be considered bad. Under the More Settings section, you can enable the warning threshold and add a specific value, or provide a custom label to the target. And that completes the report. This JIRA KPI report will help you identify bottlenecks and inefficiencies in your workflow. The target will encourage continuous improvement efforts aimed at reducing cycle times and increasing efficiency over time. Thank you for watching.